Hey guys, so in this short video we're going to see how to install Golang using a GVM, a Golang version manager. Uh, so we're going to install it, we're going to play with some of the uh, Go versions, use uh, switch between them, uh, see how it's done, see where the files are stored, uh, and also see some of the problems we might have in, during the installation of GVM. Other than that, uh, this is a great tool, I use it a lot. So for starters, let's go to GVM's project uh, in GitHub page. And let's install it with the, the bash command. So install it. Now if we run GVM, we're going to uh, get an error that we don't have a GVM root uh, set. So we need to take this string and add it to um, our bash profile on uh, Apple, on Mac, or bash LC uh, like that on Linux. So let's do just that. And now let's restart our terminal just to check that it works and it does work. Okay, great. So uh, in GVM, let's start with listing all the Go versions that we have. So let's do a list all. And at the time of the video is, uh, is made, Go 1.2. Eight one is the stable version, so let's try to get that now. This is the issue, a small issue we have with GVM. Uh, since Go one point five and on, uh, they stop using uh, the C compiler during the build process, and everything is uh, compiled with Go. So basically, to compile a Go version, you need Go installed. So in order to overcome that, you have two ways. You have the way that they explain to you uh, in uh, the documentation of the project, which is install a lower than 1.5 uh, Go version, use it, and then export the Go root bootstrap path, and then installed 1.5 or more. Or, and I find this way much easier, just to install the binaries of no matter what uh, Go version. Let's do that. Let's install, let's say Go 1.8. And big B stands for binaries. So we're already getting uh, the build version of Go. We don't need to uh, build it uh, our own. Cool. Uh, now, all we need to do is use the version we just installed. So let's do use go version 8. And let's get the latest uh, version, which is install go 1.81. Now it will download the sources and then compile it uh, using go 1.8. Cool. So that finished compiling. Now let's use it as our main uh, Go. Now let's check our Go version and we can see that it is, it is uh, 1.81. So now we can list all, all of our installed uh, Go versions and we can switch easily between them. I would recommend uh, use the default flag on uh, the version that you want to use so it will always uh, oops, sorry it will always be uh, used on each uh, startup and now let's go and see where are the files stored so I'm in the, my uh, user folder and all 
of the Go sources and binaries are stored inside a hidden uh, folder, which is called uh, GVM. And inside of it, we have a folder called Goes. And inside of it, let's just, just clear it out. Oops, we have uh, our versions. So when you do a path, to uh, to configure your uh, SDK inside the, your IDE using this is the way to find them. Cool. Let's go back. <coughs> uh, so now the last thing that uh, we left is to uninstall the Go uh, one point eight because we don't need it anymore. And now uh, when we list it, we see we have only one go 1.81. Um, if you have any troubles in installation or you don't have the string for uh, defining the GVM path, you can find it in an article, a uh, useful article I saw. Uh, it's oops. this one and you have the string uh, to copy paste it right here and I'm going to add this uh, blog in the description for you uh, to use so that was a short video I like uh, GVM very much very easy after you set it up uh, at the first time very easy to use very useful and I hope you enjoy too so see you in the next video bye bye